Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to smooth skin when it comes to Photoshop using frequency separation in about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to come to the background layer and create a copy from the background layer by simply dragging and dropping on this new layer icon to create a new layer. Once I've created that new layer, it is time to clean up the skin. So I just come to my tools right here and select the patch tool. And after selecting the patch tool, it is time to remove the pimples or blemishes regarding this very image. So I'll simply zoom in by using Command Plus or you can use Control Plus on the keyboard. And for the patch tool, make sure this is selected, the first option. And ensure the patch is set to normal and source is also selected. So for this, how it works, basically, you patch the skin. You patch the pimple using clean skin. So click and draw around the blemish that you want to remove and you drag it to a nearby area to patch that pimple with clean skin. So draw like that. So you left click and draw around the pimple and you drag that pimple to a clean area that is close or nearby. So that is how the patch tool is going to help us to remove the blemishes or pimples from the model skin. So take your time because for these kinds of images, blemish removal is the goal. So blemish removal is going to contribute over 70% to retouching such a complex kind of image. So take your time as you're trying to patch the pimples and the blemishes to remove them from the model skin. So just take your time like this. And you can see by just circling and patching over majority of these areas, the skin is going to start to look a little bit smooth or smoother than where we started. So I'm just going to take my time while I'm doing all this. And by the way, in case you're watching and you're not subscribed to this channel, simply make sure that you subscribe to this channel because it helps the channel grow and like the video as well. Because when you like the video, it helps you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So take your time as you're trying to do the tour. Do me a favor, like the video and don't forget to subscribe. So I'm just going to remove the blemishes and sometimes when you don't drag to a clean area, it brings up that notification as you're trying to see on my screen. So ensure that you click OK and you patch once again and you drag to a clean area. And you can see by just working on these tiny small areas, the skin blemishes are going to be eliminated and the skin is going to start looking smooth. It was looking rough because the blemishes were existing initially over the model skin. So that is why at this point we are eliminating the pimples or skin imperfections from the skin area. So command minus and zoom in once again to see or identify the areas that have any blemishes and vivid or vibrant skin inconsistencies. So I'll come below the mouth right there. Get rid of these pimples in that area by dragging. Simply drag like that. So you're basically patching clean skin over the pimples or the blemishes and covering the blemishes with clean skin. So you can see right on the cheek area, majority of the pimples or blemishes have been eliminated or hidden or covered with clean skin. So after doing this, you are going to go straight into the skin retouching and working on the skin tone. So for this step, we are basically working on the skin textures. So I'm just going to come to the forehead area. Don't forget the forehead area. And continue working on the pimples or the blemishes. So continue using the patch tool like this. So you can see right now, majority of the blemishes are now being covered by clean skin. And they have been hidden in this case. So, so for a big blemish, for example, this line, just drag or circle around it and drag, drag it to a clean or nearby kind of area. So after doing this, we're just going to go straight into working on the skin color or the skin tones of this very image. So, so right now we are done working on the textures. 
don't worry in case you have left out some tiny textures because we can come back and we remove those small tiny textures so now that we have removed the blemishes you can see the before and after for the blemish removal create another copy by dragging on the new layer icon then you can rename this to color rename this to texture and after renaming this layer simply come to the color layer turn off the texture layer come to filter blur come to gaussian blur then take the radius slider down click on the skin area that has more skin textures or details and start blurring away the details so just move this up click and move and drag stop at the point whereby the details or the blemishes are just starting to disappear click ok select the texture layer turn it back on come to image apply image source is the name of the photo that we're editing layer select the color layer blending is subtract the scale is to offset 128 make sure invert is not turned on or is not checked click ok change the blend mode from normal and change it to linear light then select both layers then drag and put them into a group after grouping these layers open up the group select the color layer and for this step you're working on the skin color or the skin tones turn off the texture layer come and get the mixer brush tool and for the settings ensure the hardness set to zero soft round brush is selected then clean brush is selected and this second option that is clean brush after each shock is selected then weight is 9 load 75 mix is 90 flow is 100 percent ensure that sample areas is not turned on or is not checked so once i've done that it's time to blend so to blend simply click and hold down and you blend a given color in a given area so i'll click and hold down and blend like that and once i'm done blending a given color i'll click once again and blend on a new color so after blending a given color release the click click button and click once again on a brand new color mix the colors that are looking alike in a given area to create a nice and smooth transition between those specific colors so i'm just going to be blending like that so you can see right here the colors or the skin tones are now looking nice and even so i'll blend this highlight alone like that and where these colors are transitioning from one color to another just use a very small brush and blend that bordering area or that surrounding area to create a smooth transition between the two colors so like that you can see and the other thing that you have to do just retouch at a distance don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in you can't see the uneven skin tone transitions in your photo so i'm just going to blend on the lips like that to soften her lips a little bit so you can see for the area that you have tried to blend it looks softer but it looks a little bit plastic but don't worry about that because the reason as to it is looking plastic is because we have turned off the textures of this very image and right now we are working on the skin color or the skin tones of the subject so reduce on the size and continue blending like this and you can see what we have and by the way you can as well work with the texture layer turned on to see what you're trying to do on the image just like this reduce on the size and you work on a very small area just like that but ensure when you're working with the texture layer turned on make sure that sample areas is not turned on or is not checked so by just doing this you can see the skin is now looking nice beautiful and smooth while we have retained the initial or original skin textures in this very image so you can as well try to smoothen the mouth a little bit like that so after blending the colors on the skin you can see what we have right now so you can see the before and the after for the skin retouching before after before after so this is how you can simply blend or smoothen skin using frequent separation and in case you still have any blemishes remaining in the image you are simply going to come 
So make sure to blend every single area that has or contains skin tones, like even the fingers. So for the blemishes remaining in the first area, you're going to come and get the texture layer, come and get the clone stamp tool, and for the settings, the hardness is zero, soft round brush is selected, the mode is set to normal, opacity in the flat 100%, you're just going to zoom in and start removing the blemishes that are remaining in the image. So get a small brush or get a small clone stamp, hold on the option key on the keyboard, alternate for Windows option, click on a clean area near a pimple, release the option key on the keyboard and simply click once again over the pimples or blemishes to eliminate or get rid of them in a given area. So I'm just going to do this like this. So take your time with this kind of process. So let's see the overall before and after. This is the image before and this is the after, before, after, before, after. So this is how you can easily smooth and skin using frequency separation in about 10 minutes when it comes to Photoshop. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe in case you have been watching and you are not subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.